Hey guys, it's Lisa. Today I'm going into DCA and yes, I'm gonna have to make this gigantic line behind me because I'm park hopping today. But either way, I am super excited because I'm gonna be eating all of the delicious festival of holidays food. I'm so excited about this. But anyway, come along with me, let's go inside and let's eat a ton of delicious, delicious Disney holiday food. Ooh, over at Trolley Treats, they're making the Rice Krispie Treats. Hi. Oh, okay, we can't get distracted though. We have a reason why we're here. Okay, so of course you have to start off with getting the Sip and Saver Pass. They also have the Passport, which I looked at before and it includes the map. So we're gonna take a look and figure out what to eat first. I think I decided what I want to get for the first thing. Well, the first couple things. <laughs> and it's over at Merry Mashups all the way at the end of, you know, the long corridor of amazing festival food booths. I got the first two things and I might rush through this a little bit because they just announced that there's going to be a special performance right over there on that stage and I'm too lazy to move. <laughs> the first two things I got, the first thing is the Esquites Carnitas Mac and Cheese and you guys, I'm so sorry if I mispronounce stuff. I really, I don't mean to, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, and then this is Oaxaca and Cotija Cheeses. Again, I'm sorry if I can't pronounce anything. And it has spiced puffed rice and carnitas, of course. It looks really good. It looks super cheesy. And then the second things I got, they're the holiday spiced wings and they have citrus cranberries on them. Honestly, they look pretty good. I can definitely see it has like a little bit of encrusted sugar on one of them. We might be in for a treat. Okay, so let's go ahead and taste the first thing, the mac and cheese. I'm definitely excited about this. So we gotta get a bite with everything on it. Yum. Ooh, okay. I'm pumped about this. This looks so good. Mm-hmm. That's really delicious. Ooh, it actually doesn't even taste all that cheesy. You definitely taste like the puffed rice and the carnitas much, much more. The puffed rice in particular, I think that has a lot of flavor. This is really good. So now for the second thing I got, which are the wings, and these wings look great. I mean, the cranberry sauce, I'm very intrigued. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a flat because that's my preferred wing. And let's get a bite that definitely has cranberry on it. That bite was just, you only tasted the cranberry in it. So let me try to bite like just the chicken. Mm. These aren't that good. I mean, the cranberry is, I just feel like the flavors don't match. And then the wing itself doesn't have a ton of flavor and it's not like the best wing. Hmm. No. <laughs> Already when I bit into it, there wasn't a lot of meat. Yeah, these are, no, these are a no. <laughs> I mean, they're festive and they're interesting. I like that, they get points for that, but in terms of the taste, just pass, pass on these. So we are 50-50 right now. One really amazing thing and one, it was really not good thing. <laughs> I only took like two bites and I was like, Ooh, I don't like this at all. But anyway, I'm in front of grandma's recipes because I already ordered the second thing, wait, third thing that I wanted to get. And this one I'm very excited for. So I'll show you guys in just a second. It's the Impossible Arepa Encantada. Yes. <laughs> I really stumble over my words sometimes. I'm, yes. Anyway. This thing looks so good, and the reason why is because it's using impossible meat, and it also is dairy-free because it uses dairy-free queso. So it's dairy-free queso stuffed mice, my, maize, oh my. I'm having a problem right now. It's also very, very loud right here, so I'm so sorry. There's just, there isn't really a lot of good places to sit. It's pretty busy today. Anyway, back to the matter at hand. And the matter at hand is that this has spiced plant-based grown meat and pickled onions. Honestly, this thing smells really, really good and it's nice and warm and toasty. I'm very excited to dig in. Okay, got to get a little bit of everything. Gotta get the pickled red onions. Love that. Okay. Right off the bat, it 
actually has a very strong olive taste and I actually don't care for olives at all so I, I'll warn you if you guys don't like olives this definitely has olives in it that's a really really big deal breaker for me so yeah but then okay let's focus on let's focus on the maize let's see the dairy free queso honestly okay i never have high expectations for dairy free cheese you just can't you can't put that pressure on dairy free cheese to perform well but you know give it a better taste in with the beef this would be really delicious but because of that mm, this one is a no for me just for me so our batting average isn't going so hot right now but I have a feeling that the next item that I'm gonna get I'm actually gonna get two I'm gonna get a food item and I'm gonna get a drink I have a feeling that these are gonna redeem everything I hope so I got the drink and I got the food item and the drink I got over at Winter Sliderland, which by the way, they have really, really good treats. So you guys should definitely get those two sliders. They're A plus. Anyway, okay, this drink is the Prickly Pear Tea Lemonade. It's also non-alcoholic and it's Joffrey's Coffee and Tea Company, Ceylon Black Tea Cold Brew, Prickly Pear Puree and House Made Lemonade. I already took a couple sips of it and it's pretty tart. It's very, very tart. It's not very sweet at all. And it took a couple sips for me to get used to it but the best part about it is that I got a glow cube and it jingles this thing is so cute and I'm definitely not normally a person who would buy something like this but I saw it and I was like I must have this I will only use it for today and get enjoyment out of it today but I love it so much <laughs> so anyway yes it also has different color changing modes I love that but we're gonna put him in there also he sinks to the bottom so like it's not as fun during the daytime because you can't see him glow. Okay, anyway, yes, this is a little bit tart. It's like sour and tart. I don't think that I would get that again. I, yeah, no, okay. The next thing I got though, this is where we're gonna redeem ourselves. I got the queso fundido and this is impossible queso fundido. Okay, let's, let's give it a go. This redeemed everything. Ooh, that is so good. The flavor is so good. The impossible meat is so delicious, but I feel like it's really salty. Hmm. And I don't think it's the chips because I don't see salt on them. I think this is just really salty. Okay, mm, it redeemed itself halfway just because yeah, it's super salty, but the flavor is like A+. Plus. This is really good. So I took a little Star Wars break. I went over to Batu and had a really fun time, but now I'm back in DCA, and first of all, it is beautiful over here. At this time of day, it's just gorgeous. But anyway, I'm back here, and I already know exactly what I want to eat, so let's keep going with the Festival of Holidays food. I got the best seat because look behind me. Isn't that so nice? But I will say maybe it's not the best seat because it's pretty loud. <laughs> anyway, I got two things. I got this wonderful, lovely cinnamon sugar tart, which I'm so excited. It does look like a Pop-Tart, but I'm pretty sure it's not gonna taste like a Pop-Tart. And then I got this macaron, which has come back. And honestly, when I had it before, it was pretty good. So let's start off with what I haven't had before, which is this delicious looking tart. It looks so nice. Okay, going right in. Mm -hmm. That's really good. It actually tastes like a cookie. Instead of like pastry dough, it tastes like a cookie. But let me break it in half because I didn't really get a lot of the filling. Yum! Oh, it's so flaky and delicious. Okay, this piece looks like it definitely has a lot of good filling. sugar but this is really really good 
you guys definitely get this. Delicious. And the frosting even adds a little bit of like, it has a really nice flavor to it. It's not overwhelming and it's just like, just enough. Very good. Okay, and to move on to this cookie, it's a hot cocoa macaron. And how cute is this little flame? I love it. Okay, I'm just gonna dive straight in. This makes up for like all the like ugh kind of food that I had in between. This is incredible. Okay, I'm so happy. What a way to end the night. I'm so so happy. Wow. So today was really it was really a roller coaster. We went up, we went down, we went well, we went all over the place. <laughs> But I'm super happy that we did end it on a super, super high note. Those two treats were so good. And all around, even though some of the food wasn't the best, I still had an awesome day. I had a fantastic day. So I think I'm gonna end the video here. I hope you guys had a fun time hanging out with me. I had so much fun hanging out with you guys and I will catch you in the next one. <laughs> See ya.